Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. So we see that well-defined dry line across the state of Texas. That actually was further towards the east earlier when we saw those drier conditions. Humidity is actually starting to pick up just in the past couple hours as that starts to work further back towards the west. Again, seeing dew points into the 70s, 75 dew point in towards Houston. Off towards the west, though, dew points into the single digits or low teens. So again, that sharp contrast between a lot of humidity and those drier conditions. That's where we're going to start to see those thunderstorms possible to develop right now. Seeing them up in towards the Texas area along the Red River Valley off towards the west of Dallas. Not seeing any activity for us here in the Concho Valley, but that is all going to change as we get in towards tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours. We'll start to see our rain chances really beginning to ramp up. Fairly quiet conditions. Have seen a little bit of that ground clutter. Again, those showers off towards the northeast. And again, not a lot of cloud coverage for us either as we kind of go in towards the evening and overnight hours. Though it was a warm one, temperatures starting to cool back down into the upper 70s. 79 degrees in downtown San Angelo. And those dew points have actually increased again during the 6 o'clock newscast. That was actually into the mid-20s, now jumping up into the upper 30s. So we're going to continue to see those dew points rise over the next several hours as we put that moisture back in place for the chance for thunderstorms for tomorrow. Still looking at those temperatures lingering into the upper 70s and low 80s. 82 degrees in Coleman, 83 in Ballinger. 82 for Eden and a couple 70s on the map. Ozona at 72 degrees and 78 degrees right now in junction as we continue into the evening hours. We'll only cool off a few more degrees, kind of dropping down into those mid to upper 60s. Again, looking at those mostly clear skies, but a passing cloud certainly possible. And those winds out of the south, 5 to 10 miles per hour, staying a little bit on the calmer side. As we go in towards tomorrow, a quiet start to the day. We'll see those partly cloudy skies. Temperatures still warming up into the mid 90s. It really won't be into the late afternoon and into the early early evening hours that we start to see those rain showers and thunderstorms really begin to develop and that's going to start to pick up in towards the evening time frame. 70% chance of showers for the second half of your Friday rather. And again, your severe weather outlook. We have the entire Concho Valley under the threat for some severe weather. Do have it under a slight category. That is a two out of five for the potential for severe weather. We'll be watching for large hail, gusty winds and because we're not seeing this with a frontal system that would normally kind of move rather quickly through, these are going to be very popular up thunderstorms that are slow moving that increases the chance for some local flooding so those thunderstorms that kind of develop and then don't really get pushed off one way or the other is allowed to drop a lot of rain in a single location just in a matter of a couple of hours so that increases the flash flooding threat over the next couple of days as well and because we're going to be seeing a lot of rain over the entire state that is going to continue to add on to the flooding threat uh, for the next several days as well so by late friday early into the saturday morning hours that's where we start to see those showers and thunder storms really beginning to develop. That'll take the first big pull of the energy that is available. Then things start to kind of mellow out as we get in towards late Saturday in towards Sunday. We see it transition from more of those thunderstorms and the severe thunderstorms into a little bit more of those widespread showers across the entire state. So it cuts down on the hail risk and the wind risk, a little bit severity in those thunderstorms, but we will still hang on to those widespread showers and that rain likely to continue not just for your Mother's Day weekend, but going into the beginning of next week as well. We'll still continue to see those rain showers start to become a little bit more isolated and scattered in nature as we get in towards the middle of next week. That'll help to dry things up just a bit, but we'll still hang on to some rain chances, just not nearly as widespread, and we'll start to cut down on that flooding threat as well. But though over the next couple of days and going in towards next week, we will see the chance for anywhere between two to four inches of rain. And again, this is going to be kind of hit or miss as far as where those exact locations are. It all depends on where those storms end up setting up. So if we do end up seeing some of that flash flooding, remember, do not drive into the flooded roadways. Again, we will see the possibility of some of those low-lying areas to be very subject to flooding over the next couple of days. Don't forget, winning with the weather going on, just go to our website, ConchoValleyHomePage.com, and for your chance to win, we'll be giving that away tomorrow, and then we'll be giving away the rain chances and cooler temperatures as we get into the weekend. This week's Winning with the Weather Prize is provided by Concho Valley ER.